Alright, so I'm going to start putting out a series of short videos talking about my favorite subclasses for each of the base classes in the new 2024 Player's Handbook. We're going to start with Barbarian. They get Path of the Berserker, Path of the Wild Heart, Path of the World Tree, and Path of the Zealot. Berserker and Wildheart were both previously in the 2024 version. Wildheart used to be the Totem Barbarian, and I have never played a Barbarian before. If I did, I would have wanted to play the Totem Barbarian. Under the new update, the 2024 book, that's still the case, but I am also much more inclined, and realistically, if I ever play a Barbarian, I'm going to play Path of the World Tree. So at level 3, when you first take the subclass, you get what is on the screen right now. You get temporary hit points whenever you rage, and at the start of your turn, when your rage is active, you can give any other creature more temporary hit points. So that's always wonderful. Level 6, you get branches of the tree. Whenever a creature you can see starts its turn within 30 feet of you while your rage is active, you can take a reaction to summon spectral branches of the world tree, and if the target fails a strength saving throw, you get teleported to an unoccupied space you can see within 5 feet of you, or the nearest unoccupied space that you can see, and also has its movement speed reduced to zero until the end of its current turn. So whatever creature you teleport with this cannot move. It is basically Scorpion yelling, get over here and yanking somebody. But instead of it being a chain drag, it's a teleport, which is pretty awesome. At level 10, they get Battering Roots. As long as uh, you have a heavy or versatile weapon, you get an additional 10 feet of reach, making it very easy to hit targets that are farther away from you. And when you hit someone with a weapon like that, no matter what mastery property you already have on that weapon, you can also choose to use push or topple. So that gives you more options, and more options is always a good thing. At level 14, whenever you rage, and as a bonus action while raging, you can teleport yourself up to 60 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. In addition to that, once per range, you can increase the range of that teleport to 150 feet. When you do that, you can bring up to six willing creatures who are within 10 feet of you, so you can just teleport your entire party, which is incredible. So this Barbarian subclass would be perfect for a very tanky build. Take the tough feet, take Great Weapon Master if that's what you want to do, the Sentinel feet would be amazing. There's so many good feats that build off of these abilities to where you are constantly just yanking people to you, knocking their movement speed to zero, and if you have a way, such as the topple weapon mastery, to knock the creature prone, they can't get back up because their movement speed is zero. So it gives you a whole bunch of options for bringing people to you and controlling the battlefield through teleportation. So there's nothing stopping you from, say, teleporting yourself near a, the edge of a cliff. An opponent starts their turn, you teleport them next to the cliff, and then they can't move anywhere, so on your next turn, you just shove them off the cliff. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do that would make this build so much fun. If I had to pick a species for this, I would likely go with Goliath. But that's just me. You can play any species you want with any class, since all of your stat bonuses are tied to the background that you choose. Any species can play any class just as efficiently as any of the others. I personally just like the various racial bonuses that the Goliath get, so that would very much benefit this style of build. Alright, thank you.